Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start today with the one hour time frame. I zoomed out here a little bit so you can see this uh, falling wedge that I'm referring right now. And um, also why I think that we should see the breakout to the $12,000 more or less. And also because there we have a CME future gap. But here you can see clearly the green line as support at around $8,500. And here the resistance that is coming down, which is now approximately at around uh, $9,000. So I'm still expecting here the breakout to the upside from this uh, potential falling wedge. We have within this falling wedge right now a kind of a resistance here above of us at around $8,800. I'm still long as you can see here on Bybit. I got stopped out yesterday because I put a stop loss as soon as we broke it $8,800. But as you can see we immediately uh, dumped back down. My long got stopped out with a little bit of profit but I immediately opened another long down here if we're gonna drop again towards 8500 they're gonna scale in my long so right now i just have a small position because only one order got executed here while the dump occurred so right now i'm waiting for a breakout but it could be that we're gonna retest also here the 8500 dollar level again uh, it is very probable but right now it looks like that the, the price is reverting again uh, to the upside if you go over here on the bit stamp chart you can see that right now we're trading above the 20 moving average in the one hour RSI above the 50, stochastic also shifted to the upside, MACD also still shifted to the upside, it's moving sideways right now, so here we don't have um, a clear bullish or bearish sign. If we go over here to the 4 hour time frame, let's also switch over here on the bitstamp chart. You can see that the 20 moving average in the 4 hour time frame is giving us a resistance. So as soon as we break here this uh, 20 moving average and also the resistance that is coming down here at 8,800. I'm expecting here another attempt here to break the main resistance at 8,900. And if we're going to break this then I think that the push to the upside towards 12k is imminent. But as long as we're staying within this wedge you should expect the price to move between the 8,900 to 8,500 dollar. Also here you see that the RSI is still trading below the 50 so we we need here to go and start to trade above the 50 in order to be bullish again and also stochastic is neutral so there could be some signs here that as soon as we break here 8800 8900 we have enough fuel to the upside also if we go over to the daily time frame you can see that the stochastic right now is very oversold and the RSI is trading along the 50 so if we are able here to break these resistances that you have above of us especially here also the 20 daily which is lining up perfectly with the main resistance this would shoot us straight up to the 200 daily moving average at $9,270 and here maybe we're going to have a retest or a rejection before maybe even breaking here the 200 daily moving average and shoot straight towards the target of $12,000 so that would be the bullish scenario of course if we're going to break here below $8,500 then prepare for prices around 7700 to 7000 again but as i told you i'm more leaning to the bullish side because of this falling wedge formation and also we have a very oversold stochastic in the daily or size moving along the 50 if we go over here to the daily time frame on the macd we don't have yet a bullish cross but we have some green signs uh, to buy so this looks very good so in my opinion we could have created a kind of a bottom here at eight thousand five hundred dollar and that was the most important line to hold because remember Remember, after we bottomed here at $7,300 and we had this huge pump here towards $10,000, the 0.618 Fib line is exactly at $8,500. So this dump here that brought us towards this Fib line was expected. And the only question was if this line is going to hold or not. And so far it's going to hold. And if we successfully bounce from this line to the upside, then the target would be at around $12,000, maybe even higher. But as you know, I think that most likely we're going to top out there. Because if you go over here to the monthly time frame and we zoom out here a little bit, you can see in the big picture connecting here the all time highs that we had, the local one here at 14,000 and the all time high at 20,000, the 12,000 target is here. So here in the monthly chart, you can see that we have a clear resistance that is coming down here at around 12,000 and we have here ground support at around 4,000 to 5,000 dollar. So I believe that we're going to stay in this wedge here just before the halvening and when the halvening is happening, most likely in 
this area over here in Ju May, June, we're going to have here a breakout to the upside towards my targets after the halvening, which is between 100,000 to 260,000 per Bitcoin. But for that, we still need a lot of mumps. So let's focus right now here on the smaller time frames, especially also because the Bybit trading competition is coming up on the 18th of November. So remember, guys, on that day, they're going to upload the video how to sign up to my team so we can start to trade together as a team on this competition i'm sure it will be a lot of fun to trade with you and also if you want to be prepared to trade uh, go to my video description there you can find an invitation code for bybit open here an account you can get up to 60 dollars for free so you can start to trade with that money also on the competition it is very important that you have 0.05 bitcoin on your wallet in order to participate to the competition then how much you want to trade with is up to you and also you can find down in the video description under the section follow me my discord trading channel so here we can discuss our trading strategies and opinions during the competition so go down below to the video description and click on the invitation code for the discord channel so we can chat together and everyone is welcome so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to my 10 dollar bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 100 subscribers so thank you for watching and we see us all in the next one bye